From everyone's recent internet daddy to one of the greatest of all time professional tennis players, several famous personalities have had the honor of starring in one of the longest running police procedurals on TV. So here are the massive stars that you forgot were on Law & Order. Starting with everyone's favorite reluctant TV dad, Pedro Pascal. I know, it's surprising that Pedro was on Law & Order, considering he's one of Hollywood's most bankable stars right now. But he didn't just appear in one Law & Order episode. No, he's appeared in a total of four episodes spread across three different series. His first appearance was in Law & Order Criminal Intent's eighth season, in an episode titled The Glory That Was. And this was back in 2006 when Mission Impossible 3 had just hit theaters. His next appearance was in the original Law & Order's 18th season where he played Tito and Cabasa. And if you think he's a heartthrob now, you should check him out in Law & Order. His latest appearance was in the 12th season of Special Victims Unit where he played a corrupt ATF agent. This came in 2011, and since then, he's gone on to star in Game of Thrones, The Mandalorian, and the more recent HBO hit, The Last of Us. Now, this next celebrity has something in common with Pedro, and that is to pick the best franchises to star in. Of course, I'm talking about Zoe Saldana. She's skyrocketed in fame in the last two decades, with 2009's Avatar setting her up for life. Since then, she starred in Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers Endgame, Star Trek, and the more recent Avatar The Way of Water. But what's interesting is the fact that she began her career by appearing in the original Law & Order back in 1999. She had a minor role as Belinka for two episodes, one in the 23rd episode of Season 9 and the other in the 4th episode of Season 10. Oh, and J.K. Simmons guest starred in the same episodes too. So that's another big movie celebrity for you. Anyway, her next appearance was a lot more involved, and it came in Season 5 of SVU. She popped up in Episode 21 titled Criminal and played Gabrielle, the daughter of Javier and Vega. Javier is a murderer and one-time heroin addict, but he eventually reforms into a good citizen after learning he has a daughter. It's a pretty great episode, and fans of the show loved Saldana's character fighting to clear her father's name. In fact, she was so good that SVU's casting director, Jonathan Strauss, said that he hoped to keep Gabrielle in the series as a regular character. In the episode, she says that she's going to law school. So the idea was that she'd come back eventually as the series' new assistant district attorney. That would have been cool. But fame knocked on her door, and she went off to star in billion-dollar movies. Now, while Saldana played a protagonist on the series, a few others have played really evil characters. For example, Julia Roberts, Eat, Pray, Love, Aaron Brockovich, Ocean's Eleven and Twelve. Julia is an icon. But who knew that she had once played a ruthless villain in the original series? She starred in the Season 9 episode Empire, and she is as ruthless as she is gorgeous. She played Katrina Ludlow, a fundraiser who says that she has evidence in a very high-profile case. The case in question is of a millionaire who dies from consuming performance-enhancing drugs. Yikes, what a way to go. The only suspect is a construction entrepreneur, and Katrina will only give her evidence to Ray Curtis. And fun fact, Julia dated the actor who played Ray for three years and won an Emmy for her performance in the episode. See? An icon. And another iconic celebrity who appeared in Law & Order is someone we all dearly miss for his trademark improv comedy, Robin Williams. They say comedians make great dramatic actors, and nowhere was this more true than with Robin. He earned an Emmy nomination for his role in SVU, but I think he should have won it because he was brilliant. He played Merritt Rook in Season 9 episode, Authority. Rook's an anti-authoritarian sound engineer, but he also has a side hustle as a criminal mastermind. Now, Authority is a really well-written hour of television, but it could easily be turned into a standalone movie. Rook's wife and unborn child die tragically, and this sends him to the brink of insanity. I mean, that's understandable. But then his psyche cracks, and he begins a war, starting with a local burger chain. And then the story gets crazier from there. Honestly, it's one of my favorite episodes of SVU because of how well-written Robin's character is. 
but mostly, it's his surprisingly restrained performance that makes it worth an Emmy. Now, if this doesn't tell you that anyone who's anyone has appeared on Law & Order, then maybe this next celebrity will. Before bagging an Emmy for How to Get Away with Murder or an Oscar for Fences, Viola Davis showed up on Law & Order SVU. Yep, even I was surprised by this one. And what makes this even better is that she had a recurring role in seven episodes that were spread between seasons four and ten. She played Donna Emmett, a defense attorney who usually defended the series' most awful criminals. I mean, the worst of the worst. And the sad thing about her role was that she was usually holding a poker face in court. The Manhattan District Attorney ripped apart her arguments while her clients either looked guilty or smug. So yeah, the series wasn't able to use her exceedingly remarkable talents, but at least she's appeared in more than one Law & Order series. Her first appearance was in the first season of Criminal Intent, and that was way back in 2002. She played the violent Sergeant Terry Randolph, who eventually gets imprisoned for life. But like any criminal worth their salt, she claimed that she committed all her crimes for her daughters. I mean, sure. But her performance, on the other hand, was no less Emmy-worthy. If you rewatch her episodes from Criminal Intent and SVU, you'll notice that she's always been one of the finest actors of her generation. And speaking of the finest actors of their generation, you'll be surprised to find out that Samuel L. Jackson was also on Law & Order. I was shocked to see a super young version of him in the first season of the original series. In the episode titled The Violence of Summer, Jackson played Louis Taggart, a lawyer who plays a central role in sending three men to jail. Their crime? The assault of a news reporter. Jackson was relatively unknown when this episode aired back in 1990, but you could still see the man's charisma working its charm. Oh, and this episode featured another actor who went on to star in Sen of a Woman, The Hunger Games, and Capota, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I know, it sounds like Law & Order set up the careers of almost everyone in Hollywood. This was Phillips' first acting credit in a TV or movie role, and he killed it. He's one of the three young men who assaulted the news reporter, and he's arguably the most impressive of the bunch. He had an unhinged quality to his performance that really made it work for the episode. And now, last but totally not the least, one of the greatest of all-time professional tennis players, Serena Williams. Yep. I'm a huge Law & Order fan, and somehow, this slipped by me. Now, Serena suffered a knee injury back in 2003, which forced her off the tennis court. So, she used this opportunity to expand her horizons and dip her toe into the acting world. And one of her first roles came in Season 5 of SVU. She played Chloe Spears in the episode Brotherhood, who becomes the unfortunate victim of explicit online material but this turns out to be a major puzzle piece in a larger scheme. Now, I'll be honest, I think she should never leave her day job on the court, because honestly, Brotherhood was one of the more lukewarm episodes of SVU, and I'd only recommend watching if you want to check out her performance. Do let me know what you think of it, though. And that's all I have on the biggest celebrities that you forgot were on Law & Order.